Why, hello everybody that's out there on YouTube. It's your boy Maxwell. Oh boy, that light is not wanting to cooperate with me today. There we go. Coming at you with another video review. And in this week's video, we're going to, as was announced earlier this, earlier this week on Monday, we are going to be taking a look at none other than the recent twin pack of the Pulse Con exclusive a Hero is Born Twin Transformers Legacy, A Hero is Born Twin Pack of Alpha Trion and Orion Packs. So let's get going into today's video review. And of course, and of course, as always, before we get delving into the actual review itself, first off, we're going to take a closer look at the packaging. Now, here we got the front of the box. It's a big box. So, uh, here we got a Hero is Born, Transformers Legacy, Transformers Generations, Takara Tomy. And you got a nice picture here of Alpha Trion, and you got Orion Pax, although he's all, he's all battered. He, he's, not, he's not in good shape. Um, on the top of the box, we got uh, Transformers Legacy. On this side of the box, we just got an image there of Orion Pax. He 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 need he needs help. He needs help. And on this side of the box, we just got Alpha Dryon. On the bottom of the box, we just got words, warning, barcodes, and stuff like that, and the continuation of that same set image. And then on the back of the box. We just got your obligatory product shots. Uh, Alpha Trion, robot mode, vehicle mode, Orion Pax, robot mode, vehicle mode, Vector Sigma, and the key, and all that fun, other cool, fun stuff. And so let's get this box out of the way. I wouldn't, I would throw it, but I'm planning on keeping that box. So after we put that off to the side, we're gonna get, bring our camera down here, and we're gonna go from everything looking like this, to looking like this. And here we have Alpha Trion and Orion packs opened up and out of the packaging. Now, as I stated in the review in when I opened this box initially, this is my this is my first figure for Alpha Trion, but this is my second figure for Orion packs. And so, we're going to get more into that as we look uh, take a closer look at o Ryan packs a little bit later, but to get things started off with we're just gonna take him We're gonna put him off to the side and we're gonna start the review off by taking a look at Alpha Trion Reason being why we're doing it this way. This will actually be the first time I review this mold Because I have not done my studio series cup review yet. And so that's why we're starting off With with Alpha Trion. So we're gonna take him and we're gonna put him off to the side for the now and so we're going to start off by taking a quick, uh, closer look at Alpha Trion. And here we can see he turns into a nice, uh, weird uh, shuttle boat thing, uh, much like his uh, mold mate Scourge does, because this guy is just a slight retool, well, retool, well, heavier-ish retooling of the Studio Series Scourge slash Sweep figures. So let's get in closer so we can take a look at some of his detailing. Nice molded detailing. We got a nice little cockpit section here. We got a little bit of purple here. Nice uh, beige. Nice molded detailing that can be found and seen throughout. Thruster bits. All of which are blast effect compatible, which are cool if you so desire. On the bottom, we got a little bit of a underworking as to how everything is going to work when we transform him. But, I mean, uh, we saw the same thing in, with Scourge. And here's the back. He has no wheels, but he can kind of slide if I had a fully smooth table to slide things on. So you have that as an option and as a capability, if you so desire. And for comparison, um, here he is next to his mold mate, that of... The Studio Series 86 Scourge. Uh, so let's take a closer look here so we can see the differences. Obviously, head 
head, the molding for this spot here is all different. Uh, the cockpit section is molded differently. But otherwise, everything else, at least on here, is the exact same, minus these wings. That is the only difference. So yeah, there you go, and there you got that. And then, yeah, uh, there's not too much else to talk about here. Oh, actually, one more comparison that we'll do, because we're going to be getting him into his robot mode here shortly, is um, here he is next to Orion Pax, who we're going to be taking a closer look at here in a few minutes. You can see, obviously, Voyager class, Deluxe class, they, yeah, sizes are going to be different. Yeah, they look good together, though. They really do. They really do. So there you go, and there you got that. Now, he does come with, a, technically he comes with a couple of accessories, but um, there's only one that really plays into his uh, vehicle mode, and we'll save the last accessory for when we get them both into their robot mode. That accessory for him for that will feature here is his gun. And this is the ugh. This is the exact same gun that comes with the uh, Scourge. And this will plug in utilizing either this this port or this port this post or this post into this port or this port and so it'll tab in there if you so desire. However, I don't see him really needing a gun. It makes no sense, but hey, he gets a gun, so whoop de doo for that, I guess. So yeah, we'll just take the gun off, we'll put this off to the side, and so, yeah, um, not too much more to talk about. Um, one cool thing as a, as a gimmick that he has is he also does have Scourge's uh, head pop-up capability, and so as we're getting into his transformation and getting him into robot mode, We'll quick show that off because I never properly showed that off when I reviewed Scourge. So, to we're going to get into his transformation and his head reveal thing. Uh, so to do that, we're going to take this section here and... Man, I thought we were going to flip it up. It's not as easy to remove as is uh, Scourge's. So I guess then what we're going to do is we're going to have to split the entirety of this section here and bring it all open up and bring them off to the side a little bit from there we are going to untab all this and bring it up and then we can take this whole cockpit section and bring it down with this being up just a hair we'll just close this up. Open up his cape sections. We'll just close this all. Close all that back up. And there you got it. There you got his head reveal thing. Which is dumb if you ask me. Serves no purpose to him. It barely served a purpose for Scourge. But hey, it's something you can do if you want to do it. So let's get this all, let's get this all. So we're going to, to resume it splitting up, we're just going to take his little cape sections, bring them off to the side. And now we're going to just reopen all this, bring these sections both off, up and off to the side. From there, the head is on this armature. So we're going to take it, we're going to bring it up. Bring, take this section here, separate it, and bring it forward. That will tuck into the upper body. And then we're going to bring the head up, like so. And then collapse it on this armature, bring this section down, and then that will all close up there, give it, finishing off that whole upper head piece assembly. Then we're going to take this section, this back section here, and we're going to bring that down like so. And then take this section here and bring that down. Uh, from there, we're going to close up the close up these. We're utilizing these tabs in this slot. So tab slot, tab slot. Close that up. And 
and then technically collapse these down like so and then take this section bring it up on this armature like so uh, take the thruster bring it down take this back a little section here fold it in bring that all up like so same thing on this other side bring that down fold that up bring that out bring it up and voila um now making certain that these are off to the side, we're going to untab his arms from his forearms, from his legs, bring them up, and then utilizing this tab is gonna go into that slot right in there. So we're gonna go, just go boop, boop. Bring his arms down, separate his legs, flip out his foot. His toe and then his heel, same thing on the other side, toe. Then heel, and make certain you got everything all situated properly. And there you go, there you have Alpha Tryon in his robot mode. And he looks great, in my opinion. Oop, just here. And we're gonna raise up the camera here. And we're gonna take a closer look at some of his detailing. Uh, nice detailing throughout, the, throughout him. Um, just turning on the, my light so you can see a little bit closer. Got a lot nice detailing here on the face. A little bit of cream for his actual face, but nice white for his eyes. Nice purple there for the crowning. And then, yeah, just going down. Nice detailing and molding throughout on him. And as you can see, he does have the open, hand, did fing, open hands and fingers as a Scourge does, at least on the one hand, and then the sweep on the other. So he got both of them, which I think is nice. Works for him. So, coming down here, yeah. Backpack, he does have a little bit of one, but it kind of emulates a little bit of like a cape of sorts for him. As you'll notice, like these are pink, but then on the inside of his shoulders, here we'll turn that back on again. You can see even those are pink like a weird off pink of sorts so yeah uh, there you got all that now he can hold his gun if you so desire the, this just plugs into his hand like so and holds it nice and securely or you could store it on his back on either one of these ports however just for the sake of my displaying purposes i'm gonna leave that on him like so now, articulation for this figure, uh, he does have a ball joint on the head, and he can look up and down a little bit, and he can look from side to side, but his beard gets in the way, so he can't do a full 360. Arms can could do a full 360 if the cape wasn't in the way, but it got a rotation there, and then they can go in and out. He does have a bicep swivel. He's got slightly over 90 degrees of bend at the elbows. He does have a wrist swivel. He does have a waist swivel. Legs can go forward that far they can go back that far they can go out that far to do most of the full splits he does have a thigh rotation he has about 90 degrees of bend at the knee and then he does have ankle tiltage and so there you got all of that and then just for the time being We'll get into more comparisons when we get Orion Pax into his robot mode. But here we've got um, Scourge in his robot mode. So we can see... Oh, I keep forgetting. I'll turn that around. You to set, see how they look together. Now, mold differences. Um, new Whole new chest assembly piece for, for Alpha Trion in comparison to Scourge here. Um, new shoulders, new wing pieces, obvious wing wave pieces. Um, thighs are different, but otherwise their crotch plate, their, the, their feet, their thighs, and their forearms, guns are exactly the same. Which, is that a bad thing? No, not really. Is it a good thing? Eh. We kind of had a feeling that he that uh, Alpha Trion would be remade from the Scourge image. So, mold, Scourge, mold, bleh. So yeah, there you go. 
and with that and there you go with alpha trion and now here we have o deluxe class orion packs and i do ha have to say he is looking good I, I mean for being a retool a slight retool tool and remold of the of the studio series 86 cup figure he is looking good now let's get in closer so we can take a look at some of his detailing um, obviously red and a light baby-ish blue which isn't that bad um it's really showing because now i got new lights down here and stuff but uh these two different plastics are sl these two are slightly different plastics therefore or the coloring isn't the greatest, but that's just this light, which... Does that bother me? Mm, no, not really. It doesn't really bother me. So, um, here we got the main cabin part of the truck here. Looks like a Orion Paxi style. Yeah. And yeah, he's a... Turns into a, a Tesla Cybertruck. I mean, no, he doesn't turn into a Cybertruck. He turns into a Cybertronian truck thing um he's got uh, four ro rolling wheels and here's his underbelly in case if any of you were curious and he can roll uh fairly smoothly uh, granted my table's not the best example for that but hey such is life um and now getting into some comparisons uh here he is with my original orion pax figure that of the thrilling 30s idw style um orion pax See how they look together. Two very different takes on him. Two very different takes. Um, even though I don't have the Orion packs for it, uh, version of it, but I do happen to have the mold of it anyway because it is still one of my favorite cup molds. Uh, here he is next to the Titan's Return cup so you can get a sense of how these guys look together. They don't make deluxes like they used to. Which, is that a good, is that a bad thing? No, not really. Is it a good thing? Yeah, I'll leave that up to you. So there you got that. And last but certainly not least, at least for vehicle mode, here he is next to Studio Series 86 Cup. So you can see just at least in vehicle mode, what all's the same and what all is different. And really the only difference here in vehicle mode is just the is literally just the cab section that is l all the more that is different in comparison of these two molds so but there you go with that so um now orion pax here does come with two accessories he comes with his tiny little blaster which is the exact same mold as that came with cup and it's got a tab right here on this side here, and it'll slot into this little section right, this little section right here. So I can slot that in there. And then he also comes with the Energon distributor, which they're passing off as now a communications device thing, which, okay, sure. And this utilizing this tab here just slots in right there. And it and they both go in very nicely, very securely. It works for me. It works for me. And so yeah, that really basically just about takes care of it for his vehicle mode. So let's get into his transformation, shall we? Let's. All right. So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Uh. Well. Uh, to start off with, uh, we're going to come down here to the underside and untab his hands, which are ju uh, just tabbed into th uh, into these little tabs right here underneath. So we're going to undo that, and then what are we going to do? Uh, well, I guess we can s separate these, and we can flip these panels up and around like so. And then these utilizing this tab, this tab, or this tab will go into that slot to slash that slot. So bring that up and around, up and around like so. 
Uh, from there, we're going to open up the these sections here, which will then will be able to allow us to free up some of this other stuff as we get things as we get things separated. So, oh yeah. From there, we want to bring his legs down, and this will untab this tab from being tabbed in right under there. So we'll do that on both sides. Just bring that down like so. And then from there, we're going to take this whole assembly, bring it up on, a, on this armature here, bring it up and around like so. Bring it so that way it comes down, and then this tab this tab well this tiny little tab is going to go into this little slot right there so there you got that all done and so now with this being open now we can just straighten this out and then this tab here which will when was in this slot will now be in this lower slot that will lock all that in place and now we can just flip his toe out uh, same thing on this other side here we're going to just take this Bring this down on this armature. That'll, as long as everything works properly, we'll tap in. Eh, even if it doesn't, oh well. And we'll close all that up, like so. Bring that up and around, like so. And there you got his legs all done. From there, we're going to grab this whole section here, and we're just going to bring this up, like so. And then get working on his upper body. Uh, from back here, we want to grab his arms and separate them from this assembly, which will free up this whole part, which has these two tabs that just top end to there, which then gives us the free range and capability to finish bringing all this down and bring this whole backpack assembly back like so. We want this back here like so for the time being. And so now we're going to stand him up. We're going to bring our camera up a little bit and then focus on stuff back here. Uh, we're going to take the wheels and we're going to well, finish bringing all this down like so. And we're going to bring the wheels and tuck them in and around like so. Flip in, flip in this part of the backpack up like so and then bring all this up and then these two tabs will go into these two slots here like so that holds all that into place and then we can just bring his head back and that will lock all that further into place and then yeah I'll bring his then finish bringing his arms down and then this tab is going to go into that tiny little slot there so that tab into a slot right there we're just going to bring that in and tab that like so and then tab that like so and then just rock his arms forward like so like a so rock his arm forward like a so and as long as everything cooperated properly there you have orion pax in his robot mode and i do gotta say orion is looking pretty good if you ask me well getting in close here taking a look here at his head sculpt here we can see got a very nice head sculpt here they're very reminiscent of the g1 cartoon of which this mold this whole event is taking place being inspired from and here we got his chest piece we got his crotch plate and here we got his legs. Nice, nice looking legs and stuff. Um, he does have a little bit of a backpack, but that's inexcusable. It, 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 it's excusable. It looks fine. It's very well managed. And so, yeah. Um, from here, you can give him his accessories. You can have him holding his blaster in the one hand. And then you got him holding his communication device in the other which is very cool. Now, some of you may be wondering and maybe starting to complain, oh, look at his hands, oh, they're dark blue, but the rest of it's all all, all, all a lighter blue, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I got the box right here. And take a look. 
Take a look. These are dark blue, but these are that lighter blue. So it is accurate to this level of source material. So do with that as you may. So yeah, there you go. And there you got that. Uh, let's quick get into his articulation, then we'll go in, into some to some comparisons. Um, his head is on a ball joint, and so he got a lot of nice wiggling waggling. He can look up a little bit. He can look down. His head can do a full 360 if you so desire. Arms can do a full 360 unhindered. They can move in and out. He does have a bicep swivel. He's got over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Uh, nothing at the wrist. He does have a tight but accessible waist swivel. Legs can go forward that far. They can go back that far. Out can do full splits. He does have a thigh rotation. He does have about 90 degrees of bend at the knee. And he does have ankle tiltage. And so there you go. And there you got that. All right, and now let's get into our comparisons. Uh, to start off with, uh, here he is next to Titan's Return Cup. So you can see just how these guys look together. Eh, he's shorter, but oh well, such is life. Not the end of the world, in my opinion. There you got that. Uh, here he is next to the thrilling 30s Orion Pax see how these guys look together and yeah he's shorter but he's also stylized off of the idw style of, for orion packs too and so you see here we got two very different takes for him one based off of comics and one based off of the cartoon which was also a ditched concept for who was it supposed to be? It was supposed to be Ultra Magnus, I believe. So, hey, gotta love it. Gotta love it. And then before we bring in the big boy, um, here he is next to Studio Series 86 Cup. Now we can really see a lot of where they redid some redid molding and stuff like that for the figures. Uh, to start off with, obviously, new head, new chest. Um, that's one big thing. Uh, new shin pieces, which is also a cool, nice thing. And then whole other different forearm pieces, too. Which was a small thing that I noticed just the other day while preparing to get this review ready. So, yeah. A lot of differences. Well, not a lot of differences, but enough to make them feel like completely new figures. So there you got that. And then last but certainly not least for comparisons, here he is next to his mentor and his savior, Alpha Trion. And I do have to say, these guys look really good together. I, 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 I'm just impressed with the team at Hasbro for creating, for creating this. It's, for creating this set. It, 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 it looks absolutely amazing, if you ask me. Now, another cool thing, if you so desire, now you don't have the battle damage, but as a cool play feature for Orion Pax, because he is the Studio Series 86 Cup mold, is he does actually still retain the capability of having his limbs torn off. Which is a cool thing if you utilize that. Personally, I don't intend to utilize that. But if I didn't show it off, then I wouldn't be a good reviewer. And I'm trying to be a good reviewer. So, there you got that. And so now, to talk about the last accessory that comes with these guys. We're going to put them off to the side. Here, off to the sides here is none other than the all-powerful, all-knowing supercomputer of Cybertron. That of Vector Sigma. And, of course, the key to Vector Sigma. And I have to say, I am so happy that they officially 
released a Vector Sigma. It's it's been about time. I mean, they probably they've done it several different times, but I mean, for newer collectors who don't have older things and don't want to spend the exorb exorbitant prices on some of that older stuff, we finally have a Vector Sigma for our collection. So getting in close here so we can take a look. Is a big gold orb with a slot up on the top. Yeah, he's got a, it's got a nice clear display stand, which is very new, nice and very cool. And let's get in close here so we can take a look at the key to Vector Sigma. It's a very tiny piece. And here we can see nice gold and nice molding and detailing throughout. And another, and a cool thing is that because of the fact that that Alpha Trion does have the ho open hands, he does have the capability that if you put it in just right, if you put the key in just right, he can hold the key to Vector Sigma, which is a very cool thing if you ask me. And as a whole, I have to say, this set is really really cool really nice i absolutely love it and so yeah there you go and so there you have it my review on the twin pack of alpha trion and orion packs along with vector the vector sigma and the key to vector sigma from uh, the transformers legacy a hero is born twin pack i i, I gotta say i am very impressed i i love how these figures came out i love how they look different and they feel different in comparison from like alpha trion here to scourge here or orion pax here with in comparison to cup here they they did a, the guys over at hasbro have truly done a remarkable thing with giving us both of these figures and having them nice and updated too because Otherwise, for a decent chunk of some of us collectors, for like, for some of us, the, our last version of Orion Pax was the Thrilling 30s. Or if you if you decided to splurge and get the um, uh, Optimus Rise 2 pack, which came with a reissue of the War for Cybertron Optimus Prime, the that of being the video game War for Cybertron. And then this version of Cup, done as Orion Pax, then those are going to be your most updated up Orion Pax figures. But this set really gave us a cartoon accurate set of the both of them. And I have got to say, it is a, such a thrill to have them in my collection. When they announced these at San Diego Comic Con, or was it New York Comic Con? San Diego Comic Con it was. When they first announced this set, I'm like, oh man, I gotta stay uh, stay tuned for this. And then I saw some reviewers who got uh, their hands on some early releases, early, some early releases of the figures. I, I'm saying that very vaguely because I don't wanna get myself into that whole discussion on, on this set. And I'm like, man, these guys are looking good. I gotta get that. I gotta get that. And then, of course, also included is none other than Vector Sigma and the key to Vector Sigma. Which, of course, can I didn't show this off when we were looking a little bit closer, but can actually be plugged into it if you want a nice safe spot to store it instead of just simply very flimsily in Alpha Trion's hand. So, would I recommend this set? Absolutely. I mean, I recommend almost everything I review on this channel. But I recommend this if you want to have a nice updated Alpha Trion. Otherwise, the, your other one, other bets would be the Titans Return one or the BotCon one that got released several years, several many years ago, or those Studio Seven figure, a Studio a Studio Seven figure stuff like that. This is a nice chance to have a properly up to date Alpha Trion figure who looks and feels cartoon accurate and that's where i gotta give this set full credit and full props is that these guys look the part they feel the part and they still feel like new toys even in comparison to their former molds now as i stated 
This was a PulseCon exclusive, and so I will be putting a link in the description down below, so that way if you're interested in getting this set, you can pick it up from the boys over at Hasbro Pulse. And that's where you can find this and various other many new Transformers, Star Wars, Marvel, and various other different range of figures as well. I am not sponsored by them, but I will give them a full shout out in this video. And so I think that just about does it. So thanks for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, as always, you know, hit the like button and subscribe. I'm not going to go into the whole details because I'll go into some of that in the closing. But do feel free to also check me out on social medias, on TikTok as well as Instagram. There will be links in the description down below. And so, yeah, thanks for tuning in. To, thanks for tuning in. Hey gang, thanks again for tuning in to this latest installment of Maxwell's Reviews. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel by clicking here. And please be certain to check out this other video review. And also be certain to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with whomever you think might like it. All the help really helps me out. And so again, until next time, fun people. Camera photo!